Hybrid cars are becoming increasingly popular, but for many of us, they're still a new and evolving concept. As the world shifts toward more sustainable forms of transportation, understanding how hybrid vehicles function could give us insight into the future of cars and the environment. So, how exactly do hybrid cars work, and how are they different from traditional cars and fully electric vehicles? Let's start with traditional internal combustion engine ICE cars. These vehicles run on gasoline or diesel, using fuel to power the engine. The combustion of fuel creates energy, which is then converted into mechanical power that drives the car forward. The process is relatively straightforward but is becoming less favorable due to concerns about emissions, fuel consumption, and the impact on the environment. Now, hybrid cars mix the best of both worlds by combining two different power sources, an internal combustion engine and an electric motor. The idea is that, by blending these two systems, hybrid cars can significantly reduce fuel consumption and emissions while still maintaining performance. But it's not as simple as just slapping an electric motor next to a gasoline engine. There are different types of hybrid vehicles, and each has a unique approach to balancing power, efficiency, and environmental impact. The mild hybrid system is the most basic form of hybrid technology. In a mild hybrid, the electric motor is not powerful enough to drive the car on its own. Instead, it assists the internal combustion engine during moments of high demand, such as acceleration, which is when a traditional engine uses the most fuel. Mild hybrids use electric power to boost efficiency, but still rely heavily on gasoline for propulsion. For example, during acceleration, the electric motor helps reduce the workload of the engine, improving fuel economy. Additionally, Mild hybrids often have start-stop systems, which turn off the engine when the car is idling, like at a traffic light, and restart it when you press the gas pedal. This feature can save fuel by cutting down on unnecessary engine activity. Mild hybrids are a cost-effective way to improve fuel efficiency without drastically changing the driving experience, but they don't offer the full benefits of more advanced hybrid systems. Next, we have full hybrids, sometimes referred to as self-charging hybrids. These cars have both an internal combustion engine and a larger electric motor that can work together or independently. What's really unique about full hybrids is that, under certain conditions, the electric motor can drive the car all by itself. For example, in slow-moving traffic or when driving at low speeds, a full hybrid may switch to electric-only mode, which eliminates fuel consumption altogether. When higher speeds or more power is needed, the gasoline engine kicks in. Full hybrids use regenerative braking, a system that captures the energy generated when the car brakes and stores it in the battery. This energy is later used to power the electric motor, making full hybrids more efficient and environmentally friendly. One famous example of a full hybrid is the Toyota Prius. It has been a pioneer in hybrid technology, demonstrating how these vehicles can deliver better fuel economy without sacrificing practicality. Then we come to the more advanced plug-in hybrid, these vehicles have larger batteries than full hybrids and can be plugged into an external power source, like a wall outlet or charging station, to recharge. Unlike full hybrids, plug-in hybrids can run on electricity alone for extended distances before the gasoline engine needs to kick in. In fact, a plug-in hybrid can often cover 20 to 50 miles, 32 to 80 kilometers, on electric power alone, which is more than enough for most daily commutes. Once the battery is depleted, the car switches to hybrid mode, using the gasoline engine and electric motor in tandem. The ability to recharge the battery by plugging in makes these vehicles more versatile and efficient, as drivers can choose to rely primarily on electric power when it's convenient, such as for city driving or short trips. The Chevrolet Volt is a popular example of a plug-in hybrid. This type of hybrid serves as a great transitional technology for people who aren't ready to go fully electric, but still want to reduce their carbon footprint and save on fuel costs. Finally, we have fully electric vehicles EVs, which don't use gasoline at all. These cars rely entirely on electric motors powered by large batteries. As a result, they produce zero emissions, making them an environmentally friendly option. EVs like the Tesla Model 3 and Nissan Leaf are known for their quiet operation, smooth acceleration, and low running costs. However, there are still challenges such as limited driving range and the time it takes to recharge the battery, which can vary based on the type of charger used. Many governments are pushing for a shift toward electric vehicles in the coming decades, offering tax incentives and rebates to encourage consumers to go electric. 
But it's important to note that a widespread transition to EVs requires significant investment in infrastructure, such as charging stations, to make them practical for everyone. So what's the difference? Mild hybrids use electric power to assist the gasoline engine but can't run on electricity alone. Full hybrids can switch between electric and gasoline power, offering better fuel efficiency and lower emissions. Plug-in hybrids can be recharged externally and run on electric power for longer distances, reducing fuel consumption further. Electric vehicles use only electricity with no gasoline required, offering zero emissions but with some limitations in range. As the world looks for ways to reduce its reliance on fossil fuels and lower emissions, hybrid cars are paving the way for a cleaner, more efficient future of transportation. With options ranging from mild hybrids to fully electric vehicles, there are plenty of choices for drivers looking to make a difference today while the technology continues to evolve. The next generation of transportation is already here, and hybrid cars are just the beginning. As battery technology improves, we'll see longer electric driving ranges, faster charging times, and even more advanced vehicles on the road. Thanks for watching. If you found this breakdown of hybrid cars helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos on the future of transportation. Let us know in the comments, would you switch to a hybrid or electric car?